You estimate that approximately 10 adults lived in a pit house with a diameter of 8 meters. Using this estimate, how many adults might have lived in a pit house with a diameter of 12 meters? So let's draw the picture. A diameter of 8 meters, given here, means that the radius is half of that, which is going to be 4 meters. And here it's given that 10 adults live in here. So this is the home of 10 adults. Now we have to use this information. We can't use any other information. We have to use this fact here. How many adults might have lived in a pit house with a diameter of 12 meters? So this second home is bigger. So this bigger home has a diameter of 12. When half of that is going to be the radius, it's going to be 6 meters. So the question is how many adults live in here? Let's think about area. The area of the small circle is equal to pi r squared. In this case, it's going to be pi. The radius is 4 squared. 4 times 4 is 16, so the answer is 16 pi. So we know that 16 pi, this area, accommodates 10 adults. Now what about the area of the larger circle here? The area of the circle is also pi r squared, but this time the radius is going to be 6. 6 times 6 is 36, so we have this larger area being 36 pi. And the mystery question is, given this larger area, how many people can we accommodate? Let's set up a nice fraction ratio type equation. So again, we have 10 adults over a certain area, which is 16 pi, is equals to the number of adults, which is unknown, we'll call it x, over the larger area, 36 pi. Something over something equals something over something. Setting up this equation is the hardest part of this problem. But once you understand how to set this up, the rest is just algebra. You could cross multiply, or you could even multiply both sides by 36 pi. Let's multiply both sides by 36 pi. Because we multiplied both sides by 36 pi, the 36 pi on the right hand side here cancels out with the bottom 36 pi. And so the answer x is approximately, actually it's exactly equals to 22.5. So the answer 22 or even 23 would both be correct.